State lawmakers are back at the State House today. The main House and Senate will meet again to discuss bills vetoed by Governor Mills. She stopped several bills from becoming law, including legislation that would change some gun laws and establish a minimum wage for farm workers. If lawmakers want to override those vetoes, they'll need two thirds of the entire legislative body to support moving forward with the bills. At the same time, state lawmakers will also consider dozens of spending bills that the governor is speaking against. The Mills administration sent a stern warning after the Appropriations Committee gave its approval to millions of dollars in additional funding. Committee members had about $11.4 million to work with, but according to the Department of Administrative and Financial Services, they approved funding for bills that go beyond that amount. The Mills administration accuses committee members of using budget gimmicks like stripping fiscal notes from spending bills and using money from other revenue accounts. Those on the committee say they're strategic investments to help the community. It, it, there's a revenue loss. If, if you're going to have a revenue loss, you, you need to acknowledge that. You can't just take the money from something else to backstop that it's just not the way we should do it and and so that's one of those things that is very frustrating despite the controversy it's still unclear right now how over the budget the committee went we are working to learn more as lawmakers discuss it further today